Hello and welcome once again to another Board of Education video recap, this time for the month of July. My name is J.D. Harden, Executive Director of Communications and Public Relations, and joined here as always by our Superintendent, Mary Elizabeth Davis. Thank you for having me. We're excited to have you guys with us as we get to recap all that took place in the month of July. A lot of things taking place, and a lot of things in, in motion to get ready. Of course, that's back to school updates, facility upgrades. We've also got some strategic priority updates. But let's yeah. kick things off with our strategic, or, or excuse me, our back to school updates. So uh, I know we had a presentation on that um, from Mr. Kirk Trump. That's right. So we actually started out this board meeting acknowledging that uh, this board of education has designed and developed our compass for this organization. The hard work they did this past year and you have heard so much about has been to launch core beliefs and commitments, a plan of action and strategic priorities. But we want to make sure that as a team, we are continuing to provide periodic updates to our community so that you may follow along with the progress of our work and feel well informed as we proceed into a new school year. So we were able to talk about the activities over the summer to welcome new families and provide registration opportunities in evening time and weekend times for our new families. We had an opportunity to talk about the types of facility upgrades that occurred over the school uh, over the summer to get our schools looking ready to go. Talk a little bit about the facility upgrades. Of course, Josh Malcolm, our Executive Director of Facilities and Maintenance, was able to provide our board and our community with an update on the progress that we've been making all summer long to welcome people back. You got to have great facilities in order to have a great education and of course that includes a lot of renovations and upgrades to 25 of our 50 schools. We also had the big project that many of you have seen happening. You've seen it taking place over the past couple of years coming out of the ground and that's McDonough High School and McDonough Middle School. The, the brand new facilities that are going to be replacing of course Henry County High School and Henry County Middle School but just being great pillars of the community community for education of our students and our community members for years to come. We also talked about, or it was also shared uh, with our community about the security upgrades. Now we've been talking about that for, for many, many months and there's a reason for that. Security and safety of our students is paramount. It goes right hand in hand with education in the classroom. And one of the things we heard repeatedly from our school communities was a single point of access was needed for our high schools, much like we have at our middle and elementary schools. Well, mission accomplished. We've got that working at all of our schools, be ready for the first day of school, and will really be a new feature that our school community can feel very safe and you know, secure about sending their, school, their kids uh, and kids being there at the schools and our employees as well uh, on a daily basis. So we were, um, you know, able to hear about that and of course that transition right uh, you know over to our strategic priorities that you know, back if you guys remember we may have talked about it with you a little bit about back in April of 2018 uh, our board our superintendent were able to uh, really lay out some strategic priorities to guide the work of our district to get our district you know uh, to, to new levels to new heights and our chief of staff Dr. Carl Knowlton was able to provide our community through the work of the board over the past few months to reflect back on the work that's been done, they've been able to share with our community about some of those up, those updates to our strategic priorities. That's right. We just want to make a commitment to saying what we're doing, making sure we're focused on that work, and following up with the progress reports and adjustments as necessary for our community to, to, to learn more about. We'd encourage you to visit our website where you can see a comprehensive and complete status report um, for the work of the organization, and, uh, and you'll have a sense of the type of progress that has been made. Now those strategic priorities will ultimately be absorbed into a long-range strategic plan and stay tuned, that work will initiate in the fall. And our Board of Education had great discussion about this during the meeting. Thank you so much for this update. I think this is such an exciting time of reflection and really, in my opinion, this just gets the ball rolling. I think we have a really strong foundation to work from, um, thanks to the work of the board and an amazing team. And I'm excited to roll up our sleeves and really get going now and deliver on all of these promises. Lots of good things have been going on with this board, and I'm really um, appreciative um, that we're meeting the needs, or we will be continuing meeting the needs of all students where they are. And that's important to me because we have kids coming from all walks of life, and we should be able to meet their needs from wherever they come from. So I'm excited about this work as well, and I'm excited about what we're doing and what we're going to be doing in the future. And I, I can't wait to see where we are going to be in the next 18 to 24 months. 
and we've laid a lot of groundwork, I feel like, in the last 18 months that are going to uh, propel us out, you know, ahead of other districts over the next, you know, two or three years. And I'm just uh, proud of everybody, not just, uh, you know, the board members for coming together, but, you know, all the staff for kind of buying in and getting behind it as well. And it's, uh, I think there's exciting things and exciting times to come. So thank everybody. Of course, um, one other item that we've been talking about for, for several months, and it's, it's, Final, but we really gave a, an, another update to our board about the status, and, and of course, it's posting for consumption by our, our school community. You guys uh, is our code of conduct to make sure that, of course, our schools are run in an orderly manner, and we have you know high expectations of our students each and every day to follow the rules and make it a safe and orderly uh, school system and school day for all of uh, our attendees, both students and uh, employees. And that was uh, wrapped up in a, in a nice little presentation by Nicole Holcomb and Miss Megan Pearson. Yeah, the Code of Conduct is uh, available for you um, at our website, uh, and it will be available and distributed digitally to all of our families uh, as we start a new school year. Um, but we'd encourage you to, to check it out. It will be uh, followed by a comprehensive uh, training and ongoing uh, plan to develop uh, consistency from school to school among our leaders, um, and that work is uh, still unfolding. Our study session is really set up to uh, also include some business items that the board will hear during that particular portion, but then take action later on uh, in their business session. And we had several of those items that, that took place. One was, again, something you guys have been hearing about. And, and we feel it's important to bring these back to you so you can see the progress that's being made towards you know, accomplishing much of the work that we set out to do. And one of those was our digital ecosystem or our one-stop shop uh, that's going to be known as Henry Connects. And the most recent stage of investment was the acquisition of a partner to bring this to life. And Dr. Brian Blanton, our Chief Information Officer, was able to bring to the board a recommendation of a new partner with Schoology as we build this particular product. And it's really a neat feature that's going to help put a lot of resources at the fingertips of so many people. That's right. This is really a reaction to the many, many conversations we've had with families, with teachers, and with students, where we are very uh, grateful for the many, many resources our organization provides, yet we find it difficult to navigate the many different platform environments. This will be a one-stop shop that curates local resources and integrates uh, publisher-produced resources that not only starts with uh, fingertip access for our fam for our teachers, it will be shortly followed by access for our students and ultimately for our families so that families at home feel well connected to continuing the learning that happens in the classroom. Of course, there were a few other housekeeping items that are uh, typical annual uh, items that we have to address, the board addresses in their business session, but one of those is, is a rather large item and it pertains to funding for our CTAE programs, and that's our annual um, you know, process of bringing an application uh, before the board for the Perkins Grants, a federal grant that provides dollars to make sure our CTAE programs continue the stellar reputation that they already have mm -hmm. by providing students with great access to so many different career pathways. So that particular portion was also handled during our business session. Um, but you know, in between our uh, study session, our business session, we had a very important uh, session that keyed in on our uh, millage rate. And it was a millage rate hearing that we have to do annually if it means we're going to collect more taxes um, from our, uh, you know, due to the millage rate and property values increasing. We were able to have a presentation from Ms. Christy Willis about that. That's right. So we had our um, two of our three required public tax hearings, but there is um, the responsibility to come before the public to talk about the tax dollars that are ultimately um, consumed by the school system. In particular, the millage rate for Henry County Schools is not projected to change. However, the value of our uh, property is continuing to increase. It's what makes uh, living in Henry County one of the best possible places to live, uh, and it's good news for homeowners that the value of our homes are increasing. It does, however, result in uh, tax dollars actually also on the rise. Um, so this public hearing included a presentation from Christy Willis, our Chief Financial Officer, and I would highly encourage you to learn more about our millage rate and the approach to partnering with the Tax Assessor's Office um, by visiting our website and, uh, and watching her presentation specifically.
In addition to taking the uh, you know education as serious as possible and placing that at the top of our list, being good stewards of taxpayer funds is also highly important to our school system. And that's why, and when these you know certain situations come up where we do collect more due to the rise of uh, tax properties, we want to involve you, our constituents, in our budget setting process. And if you reflect back, we just accomplished that the largest budget in school system history. And what that does is it ensures that our students have the best possible resources at their disposal, our teachers as well, to make sure that you know our academic achievement levels continue to rise to the expectations that you have for us. So we thank you again uh, for your trust and we thank you for coming out and providing your feedback at, at those opportunities. Now moving right along after that we did have our business session. Of course our consent agenda was approved unanimously which included some of those business items but we always kick off our business session by uh, you know, welcoming in student performances during our inspiration. Wow, Georgia on my mind. Ola High School Saxophone Quartet. What about them? They were, they were phenomenal. It was exceptional and as always Henry County does it right by starting with students as our inspiration and, uh, and last night was no different. Right after that it's always followed by recognizing many of our students and staff members for their outstanding work uh, and sometimes that happens in the summertime and we had 30 students who were recognized for their participation in the National History Day competition. Uh, several of them were able to go to the national level and uh, some of them uh, received accolades uh, ranging from second to fifth place right. in the entire nation for many of their projects. So kudos to all those students from schools all across the district. Great job. We applaud you and the board is always excited to recognize you. That's right. So we also had a chance last night to welcome a new team member to our team of principals. Um, we announced the new principal of Ola Elementary School. So join me in welcoming Amanda Cabin. We also were able to announce uh, Randy Butler as our new professional learning specialist for early learning. And so welcome to the team. We are excited for you to lead alongside us. Now I do want to mention that we are embarking on a new school year so we welcome 400 new teachers to our community. I am confident that they are joining a great cadre of professionals who are, in, are prepared to do amazing things on behalf of learning for our community. We also really wrapped up our night by acknowledging our pride in our Board of Education. Acknowledging that the work they have done to establish what we are now referring to as our compass, our core beliefs and commitments, our plan of action, and our strategic priorities has really driven us to establish a clear goal. We are on an audacious pursuit to be the fastest improving and highest achieving school system in the metro Atlanta region while being known for our connectivity to students and employees and our belief in the capability of all children. And as we've also kind of alluded to, this year is going to be an exceptional year. You should expect exceptional. That's our theme for this year. That's what we're working toward. We know that you should expect exceptional in everything that we do, and we're looking forward to providing that and meeting those expectations. If you're, if you're a follower on social media, especially Twitter, you get the opportunity to share some pictures of your kiddos going back to school on day one. Hashtag it with exceptional day one HCS. Thank you again for joining us for this July Board of Education video recap. As is the case with most board meetings, there's a lot more information that you're able to witness being there in person or watching the full version on demand that we're unable to bring to you here in this very short board meeting recap. The links to those presentations and videos can be found in the description section directly below this video.